In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with varnish on your UV DTF 300 printer. So stick around. So we'll start off with importing the artwork onto your software. Once that's done, you're going to adjust your dimensions to whatever size you want them to be. And once that's done, I'm going to show you how to then work with the varnish. We are going to go to the Ripen Print, go to Advanced Options, go to Driver Options, and as you can see, I have my white options, my varnish options. Now we are going to activate the white option and the varnish option. Next thing is under the white ink options, we are going to select under solid. Under the varnish options, I'm going to also select under solid. And once that's done, you click OK. Then you send. Now, you can print directly from the print manager. However, I prefer printing from the Hosen soft, so you can be able to adjust your color levels as well as your varnish levels to whatever you desire. So we've imported the artwork and now I'm going to show you how to manipulate the levels as well. First thing you're going to right click on the set artwork, click on task setting and as you can see from here you're able to manipulate how much color you want to print, how much white you want to print but in this case I'm only going to manipulate my varnish levels to two. And once that's done, you click OK. And from there, we are ready to print. The purpose of this exercise is to print the artwork and then print a layer of varnish over the artwork. So now what I'm going to do is print one without the varnish. So we can make a nice comparison between the two. So here we are with the varnish application. Let's see how that came out. Now, the purpose of the varnish is for print protection to make your print scratch proof give it a little bit of endurance over a long period of time and gives it a nice last look over the color. Gives it a nice bevel as well for a nice 3D effect. Now let's compare that to the sticker without the varnish. Now that is the basics of varnish. However, you can get more creative about things. For example, you can choose an option on the software for the varnish to only sit where there is color, creating this nice and cool effect over your artwork. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So under driver options, you will select the white and the varnish. Under white is under solid. However, under the varnish options, you will select spot color as you want the varnish to go over colors and click OK. And for more advanced options on the varnish, take a look at this. Open your print XP, right click on the artwork you want to print, click on task setting and you can be able to manipulate the color levels that you want to print. Plus, 
under this cut ink option, you have complete control over the amount of ink, white or varnish that you want to print. For instance, if I want to print a see-through sticker and I don't want white behind, I can decrease it all the way down. And when it comes to varnish, over here you have full control over the amount of varnish you do or do not want to print. So let's say we want varnish but we don't want white. This is what we do. So I'm going to click on the cut ink options and then I'm going to move my white all the way down because I don't want the white. Then I'm going to increase my varnish levels all the way up because I do want the varnish. And then I click OK. Let's see how it looks. Now take a look at this. This is exactly what we wanted. No white, but color and varnish. And there we go, our final print, color and varnish, but no white at the background. Now, what if I wanted a see-through square around the artwork? This is how you do it. So on the FlexiPrint software, after you've imported your artwork, you don't apply the variable under base effects for that will take away the very border we want to keep. You leave it as it is, Go to Rip and Print, then you go to Advanced Options, Driver Options, and then under your Varnish option, you choose Substrate. And then you click OK. Now, on your Print XP, this is the artwork that I've imported now. I'm going to right click on it, Task Setting, Cut Ink Options. Then I'm going to reduce my white levels all the way down because I don't want the white, I just want a see through print out. Click OK and then print. You might wonder why your artwork seems foggish on your XP software. Now, the reason behind that is because the software is reading the level of varnish which is going to go over the color. Thank you for watching this video. I'll tell you what, why don't you come here and see the UV300 DTF for yourself. I'll be right here waiting for you. marks the 10th anniversary of am.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Rand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. 
Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.